Digital Pincher and Canine Naturopath from Canine Vitality here today to share with you a growing problem amongst our dogs. Today I wanted to discuss with you autoimmune disease in our dogs. What's really going on? You know, over the last six months in particular, I've seen a real and rapid rise in the incidence of certain autoimmune diseases and it really got me to thinking why. So in this three-part blog series, I want to take a look more closely at what autoimmune diseases are and what's causing them. But more importantly for you as the dog owner, how we can help treat and in many cases reverse them by following a natural regime. So today in part one, we're going to address what these diseases are and what I see as the five top causes. And then in part two and three, we'll look at how we can help manage or reverse these diseases as well as looking at some specific supplements and their benefits uh, to treating these issues. Now you know our dog's immune systems are really quite an amazing combination of white blood cells, antibodies and other substances that all work together to help your dog fight off infection as well as reject foreign proteins and other nasties that shouldn't be there. Think of it like the army that offers a frontline defence in any battle. But you know, when things go wrong within this system, there can be real and significant health issues arising under a class of diseases known as autoimmune disorders. So what goes wrong to cause these disorders? Autoimmune disease in dogs occurs when one or more components of your dog's immune system start to become overactive. And the ability of the immune system to distinguish between your dog's normal tissue and what's foreign is actually lost. Now this leads to a whole lot of confusion and causes the immune system to mistakenly produce antibodies that actually attack and destroy the body's cells and organs instead of playing its normal role of producing antibodies to actually defend those same tissues against the foreign proteins I mentioned like your bacteria and viruses. Now the end result is that one part or even the whole body can then start to be under the attack from the immune system. Now common autoimmune diseases include allergies, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, inflammatory bowel disease, thrombocytopenia, rheumatoid arthritis, thyroiditis, pemphigus complex and SLE or lupus. Now these conditions affect a wide range of tissues in your dog's body. So take for example autoimmune thyroiditis where the body's immune system starts to develop antibodies against its own thyroid gland cells. Now as the thyroid gland cells are being attacked and ultimately destroyed, the remaining cells have to compensate and work a whole lot harder. Now when around about 75% of the gland is affected, the remaining cells are just not able to produce enough thyroxine, which is that thyroid hormone. And this is when you'll notice that your dog might start displaying symptoms, including weight gain and lethargy, a dull coat, um, or there might be a greasy dry skin with or without an odor, infections like yeast issues, diarrhea or constipation, cold intolerance, and an increase in reactive or aggressive behavior. Now in order to treat, prevent or reverse any autoimmune disease, we really need to get our dog's immune systems back under control. Now in conventional medicine, autoimmune diseases are generally not recognized as a disease of the immune system, but rather as a disease of a particular organ like the thyroid we mentioned. But from a naturopathic perspective, we really need to focus on supporting and rebalancing the immune system by getting to the root of why the immune system went out of balance in the first place. But you know more about that in next week's blog. So let's look now at what's causing all these diseases. When it comes to what causes our dogs to develop any autoimmune disorder, I believe there are five key elements at the root of all autoimmune conditions affecting them. So number one for me is leaky gut syndrome and poor nutrition. Now if your dog has any autoimmune disease, it means that their gut has become leaky and this means that the tight junctions in the small intestine that normally hold that gut lining together have actually become loose and this starts to allow undigested food particles, microbes and toxins to enter your dog's bloodstream prematurely. 
Now the immune system starts to go into high alert when this happens to deal with these foreign invaders. And this causes inflammation and over time uh, sets up a pattern of the immune system going into complete state of confusion. And you can um, see the link uh, on my screen now to go and read more about leaky gut in my blog. Now the second one is gluten, and gluten is really found in a wide variety of your dog's processed foods and treats. There are probably really three issues with gluten. Firstly, it is actually the primary trigger for um, leaky gut because gluten releases um, zonulin into your dog's intestine, and this is a chemical that tells the dog's gut lining to open up. Secondly, gluten is actually pro-inflammatory, which means it stresses your immune system and increases inflammation in the system. And thirdly, the gluten protein has a similar chemical structure to some of your dog's body's tissues, for example, the thyroid, which can actually lead to the immune system uh, mistaking those normal tissues for gluten and thus attacking them. Number three is stress. Now, while stress in its acute form is actually a normal protective survival mechanism, chronic stress, and that's the kind of stress that your dogs are faced with day to day, can actually lead to long-term inflammation that never really shuts off. And this can also create autoimmune disease. Once the autoimmune disease is active, it's the immediate stress that actually exacerbates it. Now number four is low grade infection, viral, yeast, bacterial. It's difficult to explain exactly why this is, but scientists have shown that infections, including viral and bacterial infections, can actually lead to autoimmune disease. And number five is toxicity, including heavy metals like mercury, pesticides, insecticides, preservatives, etc. Now this includes your vaccinations, your flea tick and worming uh, chemical based products, tap water, etc, etc. All of these wreak havoc with the immune system and are linked to the development of many of those autoimmune diseases. Now in next week's blog, we'll continue to look at autoimmune diseases and how we can approach these from a holistic or a natural perspective. And in the third blog, we'll actually look specifically at some of the supplements that you can use that are highly beneficial to help treat and even reverse these conditions. So I hope you enjoyed today's blog post on autoimmune diseases in our dogs, what's really going on. So don't forget to like or comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive the latest Happy Healthy Dog Tips straight to your inbox. Now I look forward to catching up with you in part two of this blog series and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye for now.